Uh, hopefully this isn't spoiling too much, but I have to ask you about this because I I'm a huge Guns N' Roses fan. And I always wondered, I was like, you know, it's interesting that you didn't produce that album. They went with Mike Clink. I mean, obviously it worked out. It sounds amazing. But now yeah. I find out that you were in the running to produce Appetite for Destruction. Yeah, I, I was asked by Tom Zutat, who signed them to uh, Geffen, to go hear them in rehearsal. And uh, you read that. It was a strange thing. And then Duff McKagan just went nuts on me. Maybe he didn't hear right. I was I was courteous and and I said, I need to come back when you've got your singer because I can't evaluate any songs without the vocal, you know, and thank, thanks a lot. I did put some earplugs in or, or, or block my ears because the, the noise was physically damaging. I mean, it was so loud in there. And that's why I said, where's your singer? And they said, well, he doesn't rehearse with us because he can't hear himself and, and we can't hear him. Because so, I'm guessing it's just not, it's like an acoustic thing, like the, the sound it was not good in this room. Well, it was a tiny room, and they were, it was the loudest, the loudest performance I'd ever heard. And I've heard some loud performances. But the way Duff told the story was that you said, you put your ear, hands over your ears and went, oh, fuck, and walked out, which is not what happened. Not at all what happened. And he just did that. And I asked him, uh, uh, you know, at a subsequent pa release party somewhere, I said, why did you lie? Why did you make that shit up? And uh, and he got really, he was drunk and, and he got really angry and he threatened me. He threatened to punch you, right? Yeah. Yeah. He threatened to punch me. And he, you know, he only, he was only 20 or 30 years younger and like half a foot taller. <laughs> I mean, Do you think he even on. remembers that, though? He's such a different person now. Like, I don't know if he wrote about that in his book. He probably doesn't remember it. Possibly. Oh, he'll remember. He was on my case big time. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Because I, I know Slash talked about how there are periods of uh, his drug use where he people will tell him, you did this, and then he's like, I don't remember that at all. Like, he's totally yeah. blocked out. Well, I certainly remember it. Um you know, I, I, I never knew exactly what the deal was with him. 